<laughs> oh boy, I'm excited today. Holy guacamole. It's the first Wednesday of the month that we're gonna bring you with us to first Wednesday VW gathering at Cedar Park. Oh, Matt Jackson, this is it. This is the last first Wednesday of summer. Right, the endless summer. Endless, and it is an endless summer down here in Texas. It's about 103-ish right now. Yeah, probably close to that. Think, yeah. Jackson. But you know what? We're not scared. We're not. We're no. not. And I think a lot of other diehard VW people are going to be down there too. Yes, I think it's going to be a good show on tonight at the old In-N-Out. Everybody's kind of excited. Uh, uh, there, there's not one bit of fall in the air. <laughs> no, not yet. Not in Texas anyways. <laughs> but that's all right. We're going to have some fun. Got a lot of cool Volkswagen to show you guys tonight. So come on down with us to In-N-Out for our first Wednesday VW gathering. Let's go. This is Sean 61, One. and I got a link to it right here where we interviewed him. A couple months ago, when it wasn't 105 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Here at in and out we've already got a lot of cars. It's not even seven. We, as the end of summer is coming, you know, you know, you kind of get that feeling like you got to get the last few days. You know, here in Texas, it's still hot a long time, but really the end of summer is coming. So we've got a lot of cars to show you guys. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that like button now and leave us a comment. Let us know what you're into. walk around real quick and show you what we got here tonight. I want to start over here though because Clayton's Herbie Bug is here. Now this car has been 969,000 miles, soon to hit a million miles. What do you think of that? Now Matt Jackson, this is not the same one that VW Life did a special on. A no, few weeks back, no. Is it? Link right here. No, that's not that one. But it's his daily driver. Helga the bus. We've got Jerry the bus and we've got Ziggy the bus. Yes, we do, Matt Jackson. Ziggy's looking so good. Oh, uh, you know, we also painted that one. We can do another link. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we painted Ziggy the bus link here. Yep. And guess what? We can do another link, Matt Jackson. Oh, my goodness. Guess who else y'all interviewed? We're going to break YouTube. Uh, in a previous Paul video, Smith. we will uh, put a link to that here. We interviewed Paul Smith. He's got a beautiful oval, isn't it? Yes, it's absolutely beautiful, Matt Jackson. And, you know, for years, he was known as the single cab guy. And yep. when he traded, a lot of people were like, oh, what's Paul Smith doing? But, uh, he came out ahead on that one. It's a beautiful, beautiful yes. uh, oval. I think it's 56, Matt Jackson. Yeah, this car is something. Well, let's mosey on over here. Charlie's convertible. The Charlie, Matt Jackson? The Charlie. Just a Charlie's a retired man now, Matt Jackson. So he's going to all these things, all these shows. And he's just, and the other day, he just showed up at our house. Like, right? Charlie, what are you doing way up here? Hey, this is Dave MC's uh, bay window. He owned this since he was a teenager. And um, this one, this guy, actually, you saw it earlier getting towed in. He's still restoring it. And he wanted to bring it out tonight, even though it's not running. Show off what you got, Mad Jack. Yeah. So this, I hope this inspires everyone out there. He painted this in his garage. I would say not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, Matt Jackson. Then we got Dan's convertible, Matt Jackson. That thing's nice. It's so nice. And it's got a great color. Wow. Over here, talk about VW Life. What we'll talk we about VW Life, Matt Jackson. Yeah. Right here, here's what we got. We got some push rod to leakage. You know, it's a sign. People don't say Volkswagen's don't leak oil. They just mark their territory. Yep. And this right here, spots and mark baby that's how you know it has oil and then of course we've got sean's vert um beautiful 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 as the old man would say barrel green that's this that colored pops man yep and uh you know what we could do another link right here interviewed sean <laughs> imagine that 
Mike, is that you, Mike? That is me. And From is, is JB19. It matches. That is so cool. Got a good girlfriend. <laughs> So I'll put your link below where uh, if you're watching right now, he will convert these for you to Bluetooth. Yes, sir. Yes, I will. Bluetooth. And now we can add a, a FM and USB port on it. All right. Link below. Let him get a picture of you. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, hello everybody out there in VW Life Land. Gary here with Mr. Scott Harrell. Scott, how you doing tonight, buddy? Doing good. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for joining us tonight, man. It's my pleasure. I appreciate you asking. Well, we are here on uh, the last first Wednesday of summer. That's right. uh, it's sometime in August here and uh, a nice, beautiful, hot hot day. And uh, Scott put a post on Instagram today that said, black car, uh, what else? Black interior. Black interior. Uh, 45 minute drive. 45 minute drive. 103 temperature. 103. <laughs> that's literally what it was when I was driving here. It was yes. 103. So Scott, Scott <laughs> braved the elements to join us here today. Love it. And we are sitting in this uh, beautiful car. And uh, I do believe this is a an award winner from the June Mug Rally. Yeah, if I, if Absolutely. Right. It was a highlight. And, uh, you know, I was filming a little bit of that myself just doing the run. And in the beginning of the... Uh, video I said I hope to win yes. the most racy and I didn't tell anybody that, right yeah you yep. but that happens to be the one I walked away with yeah that is, that is, I remember I watched <laughs> your video and I went oh my gosh he actually won the raciest yeah uh, so Scott tell us a little bit about what we're sitting in here tonight so it's a 63 okay and uh, I've had it a little over 10 years okay I've had multiple bugs growing up um, I'm not much of a wrench I I, I I know about them and you can talk to me about what you're doing I'll know exactly what you mean but right actually getting my hands dirty I seem to fumble everything <laughs> so my, okay. my uh, you know I was limited to cars that were already in great shape which right is, you know there's a lot of fun that's that. right so I've had I don't know maybe eight wow. bumps okay. over the years growing up in various stages of you know yeah um, and I didn't have one for many years and I was kind of cycling through other cars and I've had some pretty impressive cars uh, that I overextended myself on of course <laughs> right. but I never like the desire to have a bug never left and so when this one um, uh, came up it's actually in the trade section of the Samba okay oh and really I, yeah, okay and somebody had it and um, it was in pretty rough shape visually uh, mechanically it seemed solid and I had an old Volvo 850 okay. and he needed a family car and I right. said let's just change it you know yeah, this was just a spare car for yeah. me and uh, it's been uh, rock solid ever since. And I've been slowly upgrading it and slowly bringing it up to another level. And, well, it uh, is definitely another level. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Well, and thanks in part to you guys and our friend Tommy. Right. Who, um, you know, I, I met here. He hit me up one day and said, hey, how come I haven't seen you? I said, well, the car's got some problems, right? Because here we go again. I, I'm yeah. not great. Electrical <laughs> gremlins weren't uh, something I could take care of. And he just kind of, um, you know, embraced the problems yep. and took it in and just kind of went through it and ah, gave it a whole new life and it's really like uh you know brought my love back to the top so yeah. i'm really appreciative of tommy and everyone i've met here well i'll tell you what yeah. we know tommy b smith is he's a good fellow that's for sure yeah and he i think he's got a, like a screw loose because he he likes electrical problems <laughs> <laughs> he's the man to know then if you're interested in volkswagen yes he is. he is the guy he, yep. um uh so let, let's let's kind of go into a few details here because sure. i mean in order for you to win racist this was very racy you've got some things on here that uh exactly that i have a 63 at home kennedy and it's it's not like <laughs> this at all <laughs> so yeah so my my overall goal was to kind of bring it up into a uh kind of a vintage road rally look uh -huh. okay uh version two will be the performance to right. match right okay. but it's the it's got a lot of grunt it's right. fine it's got a 1914 in the back okay uh it's been the same engine for the entire time i've had it it was built by old speed okay and uh socal and like I said, rock solid. I would hazard a guess to say 70 horsepower. I would say maybe yeah, double. Sounds, um, yeah. But it gets up and go pretty well. Uh, but from the front, I wanted to maybe take a, uh, 
an, a Porsche Outlaw theme, like right. a 356 sure. Outlaw theme. And so I, uh, you know, put the grill covers over the lights, um, put the uh, the leather right. straps to hold the hood yes. down, which I think gives it a sets it off, sets the front off nicely. Yes. I've got uh, you know T-bars up front, but I've got fog lights, you know, mm -hmm. one yellow and one uh, clear up front too. It kind of sets the tone for the front. Moving on back. I didn't want to leave just that alone. Uh, I needed a few more things because that was quite busy. Right. right. Okay. So I shaved the turn signals and put LED blinkers in the uh, on the parking lights. Excellent. Uh, inside the housing and then on the back of the fenders, I uh, punched some speed holes. Right. Right. Ah, oh, I love there's, those. There's got to be at least 3.2 yep. horsepower oh, per with, hole. Oh, and top end. I mean, <laughs> right. And downforce. Yeah. And think of all the rocks <laughs> that blow up out of that oh, fender and hit my and paint what? job, right? <laughs> Rocks, um, water. Yeah, <laughs> I keep meaning, meaning to put some mesh back there, but you know how that goes. I, when I got the car, it was clearly an original black car. Okay, and everything uh, inside the door jams, um, underhood. But the person I got it from had had a really cheap, like backyard right. matte black paint job. So even though all matte black cars were played out by this time, I, I went with a two tone. Okay, and kept the top portion of uh, the car matte. And then the sides where the two-tone usually is, that's the like original gloss black. Okay, okay. So you really have to be looking at it to right. see that there's a difference in the matte and the gloss, but I think it sets the car off. It's very really unique, nice. I yeah. like it, very, very much so. You know, I've got um, a set of, I couldn't find some um, Moon Eyes Speedmaster wheels, but okay. I love that look, that old kind of Halibrand yes. look from the Hot Rods. Yes. So I found the knockoff version, which is, uh, I think CIP1 were selling, they're called Super Speeds. So okay. I bought the 15-inch uh, versions of those. Um, and I think that when the next evolution of this car happens, that's some of the first things I'm going to change. I'm going to get a little bit of a wider wheel and tire combo that fits uh, the fender wells a little bit better. Um, you know, and I've been talking with Tommy back and forth about engine options. Right. Right. That's, you know, that's yeah, like in 1914. You got to go bigger. Huh? Yes. I knew it. That's I in, knew it. That's in the ether out there. <laughs> As, you know, just recently, as a few days ago, we were texting about it. So that's in the works. Yeah. We're going to make, you know, we're going to plan it out. I'm going to take my time. Like, this has been a 10 year project to get it to this, well, what I consider V1. So it's just beautiful. I mean, sitting in here right now, I mean, thank the, you. You know, Henry Ford, you could, any Model T you could get as long as it was black. Right. And you know what? It's, you don't see a lot of black Beetles anymore. That's because right. I think uh, back in the day, people said, ugh. So they would throw yellow on them or red on them at sure. Mako or Earl Shrive or something like that. So to see a black Beetle in this day and age is, it's it's almost a rare occurrence. Yeah, really. that's interesting. An point. original black, it really is. Looking around, there's not one no, in this parking no, lot. Right there's, it's, it's very rare. And, but you know, the thing about the bug is they hold any color. Yes. You know, you can, and that's the great thing. That's why we love them so much. You can make them anything. You yep. can make them aggressive. You can make them feminine. You can make them, uh, um, you know, stock. Yep. You can make them a capable off-roader. You can make them a, a winning autocrosser. Yep. You can make them anything. Yeah, and I the, think the, that's the, the beauty the of, of the design. And then, the, you know, the color goes right, right around with it. Does this 63 have a name? Do you have a name for your car? Yes, okay. it is. I have deemed it the Flying Pig. The Flying Pig. <laughs> yes, I knew that already. Yeah. I had that, but I had that get, get you to say it. But yeah, it, I mean, the it, Flying Pig. But my goodness gracious, I mean, you know, sometimes pe people associate a pig with eh. Well, see, that's, this is not an eh kind of car. It's kind of the evolution of the car. Okay. When I got it, it was just kind of low and slow and right. and uh, didn't look very racy, <laughs> so it was just a pig. Okay. okay? Uh, eventually, we got to a point where I was comfortable calling it the flying right, pig. Right, yeah, yeah. What the next, and now it's fun, right? Right, yeah. exactly. What the next evolution <laughs> will be, I don't know, but it'll probably still be the pig. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a really beautiful car. It really is, and I mean, I, it... The, the touches that you have on it make it the flying pig and make it your car. That's what I like. I mean, just the unique things and, and your vision of it has, has really, it's a cool car. Thank really you. Is. I appreciate that. It took me a while to to get to the point of where I knew what I wanted to do, but once I did, it was go time. Yes. And, and I, so I just and put it together. You, what you said, I mean, to everybody out there, y'all can relate to this too. That is one of the true beauties of, of, of Volkswagens is that it can absolutely be whatever you want it to exactly. be. Exactly. And, 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 and the cars will take it and succeed at it. And it's, and it's, 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 they, there are probably no other car out there that's ever been built or will ever be built that has that level of whatever you want it to be. You can make it. Universally loved. Yes. One last thing. What, uh, 
I get, and I'm sure you know, everyone knows that has one, you get stopped all the time. Right. Do you, do you By tell the cops? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Only the flying pig. Right. But, oh, yes. Uh, uh, people stop, talk about their, their uncle, their friend, whatever. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a story. I mean, you get a, a ton of thumbs up, but I think the one of the biggest compliments I ever received was I was down the highway and a Ferrari F40 pulled up beside me. <laughs> one of the king of kings. Sure, of cars. yes. And that guy was about to fall out of his window trying to take a look at yeah. it. He gave me a big thumbs up and I was like, are you kidding me yeah. right now? Isn't that crazy? Do you see what yeah. you're driving? <laughs> yeah, no. So, yeah, that's, it just goes to show how much people just love these things. It, that's it. That is that's that is that is it in a nutshell. Yeah. I mean, I, I know driving my bus, you get thumbs up from everybody. And, sure. and the other thing is too, it's literally all walks of life. Right. Volkswagen's appeal to everybody. Yeah. That's a special thing. It really is. Scott, you have a YouTube channel. Not only are you poignant, you're clairvoyant. You, before Junebug Rally, I just, said, uh, I, I want, you did, I, I hope I win racius. And so, and sure enough, you did, because I went back and watched it. Scott's, what is your YouTube channel? So you can look me up as Scott Harrell, and uh, my avatar is this bug, so you'll recognize it. The right flying the pig! The flying pig. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you can see the uh, the run we did in the Junebug yes. Rally and a bunch of other stuff where I take this car to the track and run with a bunch of... Uh, uh, crazy expensive cars that awesome. I probably don't have any business That's right. with, but it was a lot of fun. So make sure you check out Scott and the Flying Pig on YouTube because uh, there's some good stuff. They're, they're, uh, uh, Junebug is hilarious. I loved it. It, it was great. <laughs> yeah, and your wife was a, is a tr true trooper that She's day, coming buddy. back coming back next year. That's always <laughs> what I like to hear. <laughs> well, Scott, thank you for letting us uh, hang out in uh, the Flying Pig tonight, man. Yeah. It's, it's looking great and uh, and thanks for bringing it out tonight and thank you for uh, joining us here at VW Life tonight. Buddy. My pleasure. It's nice seeing you. Uh, all right. Good to see you. All right. Thank Thanks. you. What a night it has been. It has been. I, 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 the, the, the word epic, is that overplayed? Epic. No, it's fitting. Is it, it's fitting. It's been a good night here at the old in and out first Wednesday Volkswagen gathering. Yeah, you know, people show up because it is the end of summer and it's a it's a it's a change, I guess. Yeah, and, and we don't want it to be over. Endless no. summer. We want it to be endless, but you know, and down here it almost is. <laughs> but it's been a good night. Uh, it was great talking to Scott yep. and uh, the Flying Pig. What fun that was, huh? Yeah, Scott's a cool guy, and his car is really nice. Yeah, it really was. And there's so many cool people here, and uh, we're getting folks from the, that have seen the seen us on VW Life come up to us. Go, hey, Ralph came up to me. And says, hey, my wife was in surgery today, and you guys got me through that. I went, what? And he said, yes. He goes. I watched VW Life the whole time. My wife was in surgery, and I said, "Well, and, he, and everything came out great. She's in very good health. It was a wonderful. Everything went uh, for surgery went fine. But what a great story right there! I mean, it, so you know what? That's that's what I, we bring a little bit of happiness to folks. You guys bring happiness to us, just being a part of the Volkswagen community and part of VW Life. And, yeah. As always, just uh, tell everybody out there yep. that, that uh, about VW Life. Share the word. Tell your aunts. Tell your uncles. Everybody. 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 Because uh, it's what this is what we do this for, huh? Yeah. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Yes. See y'all later. I'm on ten, ten, ten. Yeah.